Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my new old closet. Okay, so I'm calling it my new old closet because it's new because I just got a closet organizer kind of thing installed in here. And um, I'm calling it old because I don't buy clothes very often and most of my clothes are very old. <laughs> and I'm going to walk you through my closet today and show you what I have and give you an idea of when I bought this stuff so you can see just how old my closet really, really is. Um, and, you know, I don't go anywhere. That's the thing. Like, I'm not a person that goes to clubs. I don't go to parties. I don't have a lot of friends to go out with. And so I don't really go anywhere beyond going to church. So my clothes are minimal in terms of, you know, variety. And I don't buy clothes very often. Normally when I buy something, it's for church. So, and I haven't done that in a while because I gained weight and I kept saying to myself, you know what, I'm not buying a whole bunch of like big size clothes because I'm going to lose this weight. So I bought clothes in order to have something to wear when I gained weight. But um, now that I'm losing weight and I'm beginning to fit into my old outfits again, I don't know <laughs> that I'm going to keep the larger outfits anymore. So much of what's in my closet is old stuff that I used to wear before I gained weight, which was before I had my babies. So there's a lot of stuff in here that's even before 2010. <laughs> um, but I am not saying I won't buy clothes in the future. I do plan to take my time and buy some new things. But um, it's, you know, clothing has never really been a priority for me. Uh, in terms of spending, because like I said, beyond church, I really don't go to many places. But um, I wanted to show you some of what I have in here, so you can get an idea of what my style is like. And yeah, I, I did not, um, when we moved into this house in 2017, I did not organize my closet. I basically came in and threw everything <laughs> on the bar here, hung it up, didn't hang it up in any particular order. I threw just everything in here and it was a mess for like eight, nine, 10, like almost four years now, it, my closet has been a mess. There was a lot going on in my life and I didn't have the mental focus to be able to focus on that. And so my closet just stayed, you know, not really fixed. Um, but now I've decided to clean it up, get it together. So that's what I've been working on. And I want to show you what I've done and the clothing that I've chosen to keep. Actually, I didn't really get rid of a lot of stuff, but I did get rid of some things. So, yeah. So anyways, let me stop rambling and just show you what I've done with my new old closet. Oh, and by the way, I'm no Marie Kondo, so I did a little bit of organizing, but, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's okay organizing. You know, closet organization is not really the focus of my channel, <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyways, stop rambling, Michelle, just show them. Hi, Snowy. Hi, mama girl. Yes, I love you. I love you. Yes, mommy loves you so much. Yes, mommy's girl, mommy's stinky doggy. See, I'm going to the groomers tomorrow. Yes, mama girl. You stretching? You stretching? Yes, I am. Say yes, I am stretching. Yes, I am stretching. Yes. So, Paul just got this installed in here. And basically, I still have to get, 
he's still gonna put more shelves for me, but there are five shelves here. This section's for my shoes. My long dresses are gonna go over on this side. And over here, I'm gonna place my suits and my tops and skirts. So I'll get that organized on that side. So I am gonna start on this tomorrow. And then when it's done, I'll show you what I did. Okay, so let me show you what I did here in my closet. So here is where I keep my suits for church. Um, none of them fit me right now because they're all size four. And the problem with them right now is that the skirts are way too small for me. I have had these suits forever and they are so tiny on me this is a size four skirt does not fit me at all so i wear fours normally that's my normal size or the size that i was before before i had babies and before i gained weight and i've had these suits now for like we're talking a lot of them 20 years. Yeah. So I don't get rid of it. I don't get rid of this stuff. I've had much of what you see. Well, actually all of it. I've had before 2010. So all these suits were bought between 2000 and 2010. And many of them were bought were bought before 2005 so most of them were bought before 2005 between 2000 and 2005 so that's the suits and i just haven't gotten rid of anything because i i'm saying that i'm going to get back into my old clothes my old size so what i did was i separated them Blacks at the front, grays together, and I've got some browns and some greens and some golds together and some beige together. I have a white and a yellow, but I don't have any of the whites and yellows, so that's by themselves. I have a few baby pinks, and I've got some blues here, and then at the very end, I have some hot pinks. So that's kind of how I have them situated by color. And then down over here, I have my jackets. So let me tell you about these jackets. So I've had this jacket since I was like 12 years old. <laughs> yes, it's that old. It's a cool jacket. And I don't wear it often anymore. But I might start wearing it again soon so this one's been in my closet now since the very early actually not even the 90s the 80s since the late 80s i've had that one and this black leather one has been in my closet probably since uh the early 2000s and I don't even know, maybe the 90s. No, I don't think the 90s. I think this was like 2000, something like that. And then this jacket, I had this in one of my videos. This is the New York jacket. And I've had this one in my closet since the late 80s. So this one and this one have been in my closet since I was like adolescent age. Talking 12, 13 years old. And this one's been in my closet since the 90s. I want to say 98, 99, somewhere around there. It's actually a leather, white leather jacket with a white leather skirt. And I've had that one since the late 90s. And this was my high school jacket from LaGuardia. See, vocal, vocal major. 
bloody emblem at the back. Does it say class of 93? It says class of 93 on the on the arm. Class of 93. So this is the jacket I wore when I was in high school. And then I've just got a few other little things here that I've had for many years. I've had these probably before 2010, maybe around 2005 for this jacket. This is about the same age. And then these sweaters I've had for a very long time also, and I've had those from before 2010 also. So everything here is, we're talking 15 to 20 years old. That's how old my clothes are. <laughs> I don't buy clothes very often. Like recently, I've bought some workout gear. And that's really what I buy nowadays, workout gear. Um, I don't buy clothes very often. I, most of my clothes are very old. I've had them from even before I got married. Most of the stuff. There's a few things that are in here that I bought after 20, after 2007. But most of this stuff that's in this closet, um, at least over on the right-hand side of the closet, I have had um, since before 2010. This one is... This is actually a little bit newer. I think I probably bought this maybe about five years ago, four or five years ago, a blouse and... These are a little bit newer also, four or five years ago. Like, I want to say 2006, I bought these two. And then um, some other blouses that I've had in some of my videos, 2006, somewhere around there. This one's an old blouse I've had since about 2010, something like that. Or maybe even before 2010. This one is a new sweater that I was going to wear for my Christmas video for Instagram. And you'll you'll get to see that in that video when I finally decide to post it. So I just have some more blouses and then some hoodie sweaters here. And that's it for now. So that's with that side and then down here I, I just have a few handbags I don't have that many handbags I only own a few of them so this is a handbag it's very pretty I bought this um, in St. Martin at the airport so I bought it in the Caribbean islands at the St. Martin airport Yes, so I came from overseas. It's European. And let's see what else I have here. Uh, I have a few. I've got, I own about three coach bags. This is one of them. And then I have another bag here from Guess, which, which I don't wear very often. But this one's from Guess. And let's see what else do I have. I bought this one at Dress Barn, but I've never actually used it. It's a handbag from Dress Barn. It's a jean handbag. And let's see what else I got in here. Here's another one of my... Here's another one of my coach bags. So this is the second coach bag. I have one more. And those I use for church. And here's my other third one. So there are three black ones, but they all are a little bit different. And then I just have one Brooklyn hat. And I use this when I go on my vacations, cruises. And I need a bag to carry things. Here's my Bahamas uh, vacation bag. Here I got a Victoria's Secrets bag, which I've never used. It's a tote bag from Victoria's Secrets. And here's my shoe collection. Now, I keep my shoes, my sneakers, on the top rack 
Normally, I would keep these by the front door, but I no longer do that because my aunt thinks that these are her shoes. She thinks that these are hers and she'll put them on if she sees them. So I, ca so I have to hide them in my own closet and hope that she doesn't come in here and find them. But I have a pair of Brooks sneakers that I bought last year and a pair of New Balance that I bought last year. So those are my current sneakers that I wear. And then the rest of the stuff on the shelves are shoes. Now, I don't own too many shoes, actually, compared to a lot of women. Um, here are the shoes that I now own. I've just gotten rid of some shoes, and I'm going to show you that in this video. But let me show you the ones that I've actually kept. So I've had these shoes now since 2011. I bought these in Huntsville, Alabama at the shopping mall in Huntsville. Back in 2011, I bought these, and these also I bought the same place back in 2011. These are kind of pretty. The, they are Paris Hilton's, by the way. And these are some of the Mojo Moxie. These are semi, um, they're somewhat comfortable, but they're because of the high uh, bottoms. You gotta be careful <laughs> walking in them. And um, these are on the shelf right now, but I am deciding now that I am going to get rid of these. These shoes right here are such a disappointment. These are the newest shoes that I've bought. I bought them online last year, and they are a disappointment. They only cost me $13, and they feel like $13 shoes for real. Look at this. That's like so cheaply made here. <laughs> then at the bottom of it, look at these. Do you see these waves at the bottom of the shoe? You see that wave there? You can feel that when you're walking. Okay, so the bottom, the bottom of the shoes are not even, look at this, you see the waves at the bottom of the shoe? When you walk, you feel all those bumps. $13 online, total waste of money. Um, and the only reason why they're still on the shelf is because they're, they're so new, you know? But they came all the way from China. And so returning them was like, <laughs> you know, why am I going to return them? They were $13 shoes. So I don't know. I'll see what kind of one, of, see what kind of wear I can get out of them. I don't even know. I'm, 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 I, I want to get rid of them, but I don't. And it's because I just bought them. But look at this. It's not broken. It's just poorly made. You know? Oh, man. Anyways. Yeah. And here's my row of black heels. I have some BCBG Generations here. They are a couple years old. I probably have had these since maybe 2016, 2017. I want to say 2016. These also, my Banana Republics. I love Banana Republic shoes. I don't know if you all have ever tried their shoes, but they've got some amazing shoes. And I say they're amazing because they are so comfortable. Banana Republic makes the most comfortable heels. And as a matter of fact, when I buy some more heels, which I will um, in the coming months because... I don't have that many shoes. See, as you can see, I have some spaces here where I could actually put shoes. Um, and I will probably buy some Banana Republics. Now, let me tell you, I have come to the place now where I am no longer going to buy shoes unless they are comfortable and they fit right. Because I have had way too many shoes that don't fit me right or they're not comfortable and 
you know, it's just a waste of money. I'd rather spend more on shoes that actually feel good and fit right than to spend less on shoes that don't fit right and hurt. And I'm just not going that route anymore. So I don't buy shoes that often. But when I do buy my shoes from now on, I'm going to be willing to buy quality because I just don't want to be wasting my money on anything else. So here is another pair of shoes. These are Nine Wests and they are pretty comfortable. I wear these often and I want to say these are my newer. These are shoes that are newer in my collection. I probably bought these back. I want to say I bought these in 2018. Um, so that's how new these are. So these are my three blacks and I wear these out of all my heels. These are the ones that would get worn the most. Then I have a pair of gold shoes I've had since about 2017, 2016, something like that. And these also somewhere around 2016, maybe 2015 I bought these. Um, and then I have some red shoes, which I've had a very long time. I've had these since before I got married. So I want to say 2005, somewhere around then. The same thing with this one. About They're about the same age. I've had these around 2005, somewhere around that time I bought those. And then on the lower level, I have some shoes that I cannot wear now because they need to be going to the, they need to go get fixed. So I have to take these to a shoemaker or a shoe repair. I don't know where there is one, but I've got to find a shoe repair. So let me tell you about these shoes down here. Now this pair of shoes, I love these. They are absolutely beautiful. They are Nine Wests, you guys, and I have gotten so many compliments over the years about these heels, okay? Now, let me tell you about these shoes. So, I have had these shoes in my closet since, I want to say, 99, 2000. I want to say they've been in my closet since the year 2000, so these shoes are about 21 years old at least. Um, they're definitely no less than 20 years old, okay? Now, as you can see in the inside, they are falling apart. Look at that. They are really falling apart. And I don't wear them anymore because at the bottom of the shoe, see the heel is gone. But they've got a beautiful heel. And I thought that, you know, taking them to the shoe repair, I can get them fixed and I could wear them again and possibly the insides redone. I don't know if it's possible, but I would love to see if I could get these shoes fixed because there's just no replacing these. These are amazing shoes and I'm just willing to pay a shoe repair place to redo them for me. So. I have those there, and I think I'll take them to New York or Chicago. Probably like a big city, because major cities have things that you can't find <laughs> in other places, and shoe repairs aren't easy to find. So I need to find a good shoe repair and take those. And also these as well. I've had these um, a little bit. These are a little younger than these. These I've had since around 2000. Um, and these I've had between 2000 and 2005. So these also need to go to the shoe repair. The other heel is even worse. Look at this. No heel. And I don't know if that's repairable. But I, um, I've gotten a lot of compliments on this shoe. It's, pretty, it's a pretty cute shoe. But I don't know if... Um, they can fix it for me. Let me see, is there any other problem with it? There's really no other problems with it except for the, the heel needs to be replaced. So I have to see if I can get that fixed. This one could use a new heel as well. 
So I want to try to see if I can get those fixed and wear these again. And then these over here are my wedding shoes. These are the shoes I wore when I got married. I don't wear them. I only wore them for my wedding and that was it. And the reason why I don't wear them is because they're not really comfortable. So, I mean, I wore them at the wedding and I was semi-comfortable but not really comfortable walking around in them. I basically changed my shoes at the reception. But these were the shoes I wore. And so I only kept them for that reason because they're sentimental. But not because I really wear them. Yeah. So those are my shoes. And like I said, I have some space here where I can buy some new shoes. But I'm probably going to take my time and fill those spaces. And there will be shoes that will match what I have in my closet. And down here, I have some old sandals. Um, so I'll show you. So these are sandals I've been using since 2018, 2017. Probably more like 2018. But I need new ones. So I'm going to buy some new ones from Roadrunner. Because I wear them all the time, like all summer. I'll wear these. And these I bought back in like 2016, 2017. I had these featured in a style. Like I did a style, um, some style pictures. Like summer 2016, I think. Or 2017. And these were the shoes from that. Some style photos that I did that summer. And these also. So I have a few sandals here. <laughs> And these like jelly shoes, I have these for like if I'm in church and I want to take my heels off and relax, I have these thrown in my bag, in my purse, and I can change my shoes from my heels into something flat and be more comfortable. So that's why I have these jelly shoes. And here's the other one here. And these were some work shoes when I used to teach. Back in Maryland, around 2000, between 2004 and 2007, I used to wear these to work, teaching. So I have these, and they're in really good condition, so I keep them. But I don't have a reason to wear them, so I don't wear them very often, but they're in good condition, so I still kept them. And let's see what else I have just yeah these are just slippers again that I wear when I want to change out of heels see ballet slippers when I want to change out of heels and down here I have my workout sneakers hidden at the bottom so that's what that's what I've got down, down here now on this side I have a few um, Extra drawers, stacking drawers that I used to keep in my bathroom before we had our bathroom renovated. And I keep now extra uh, hair products and so forth that can't fit in my bathroom cabinet. I keep them here in the closet. And this is my makeup case. So the makeup that I don't use on a daily basis, I store in this professional makeup case here in my closet so that's where I keep all my makeup and yeah so one day I'll show you my vanity table and I'll show you the makeup that I would keep readily at the vanity table but what I don't use on a regular basis gets stored in this box over here and at the top I just have a few things stored like some hats uh, some of my um, fascinator hats are up here and so forth so well not some of them all of them <laughs> I don't have many there in boxes hat boxes up there I'm filming this video in two separate days so actually more than two days so that's why the lighting is changing throughout the video <laughs> this is actually Sunday morning the morning that I'm going to be doing the final editing and uploading of this video. 
um, and I'm just finishing up the video right now to give it to you. So on this side, I basically have whole dresses and let me see if I can just walk you through what I've got here in my closet. So I bought this dress for a, um, for a video that I did a couple Christmas ago. And now this dress can't fit, but I used this dress as my, uh, dress to say that I have finally gotten my body at the weight level that I would like it to be because the dress fits right. It wasn't fitting right and it's starting to fit right now, but it still doesn't fit completely right. And when it does, I will know that I'm good. So in terms of my weight, so I'm using this dress as the dress that I put on to check whether or not I am where I want to be in terms of my weight goals. And then this dress I've had since around 2005. Yeah, it's old, but it's pretty and white. And this dress I bought a couple of years ago, and I'm not sure if it's something that will stay in my closet for long because I bought it while I was on the heavier side. And since I'm gonna lose weight, We'll see if I really want to keep this dress, but um, it's a dress for church. It's just a simple black dress, <laughs> and I think this dress is probably about four years old. Then I have this one, which I've had since maybe 2009. Yeah, so it's older than my daughter, I think. That's how long I've had this one. I'm pretty sure it's older than Selah. This one I bought, uh, I believe after Selah was born, somewhere between 2011 and 2015. I really like this dress a lot. And this one I bought somewhere uh, around 2016. And um, I don't know. We'll see if I keep it. I think I probably will. Um, it's a dress that I bought when I was larger sized, but it still might be able to fit. This one I've had since also around 2016. And this one I've had for many, many years before 10, 2010. This is before 2010. This one is since like 2009 this one or 2008 somewhere around there this one is again before 2010 a lot of these are before 2010 this one is more newer and I may not be able to wear this anymore because I'm losing weight this one also may not fit me in a few weeks uh, this one I really love and I'll be keeping this. It's like a really nice summer uh, dress. And then I have some of the dresses I don't know that I will be able to keep because I'm losing weight. This one is a pants, a short pants that I wear when I'm on vacations with a top that is part of it. And I usually wear this on cruise ships. Um, these are all dresses for church that uh, we'll see if I keep them all. This one may look too big on me once I lose all the weight. So, And then there's some sweater dresses that will look better on me when I lose the weight. Because you know how sweater dresses show everything. <laughs> This dress I have had for many, many years. It's like a size two. And it would not look good on me unless I lose weight. It's actually a Tommy Hilfiger. And it is super old. Probably like 2000. Is when I bought this. This I bought when I was pregnant with my daughter. But it's so cute for the summer. So I'll probably keep that. And I'm going through everything here. These, this one may not fit me once I lose weight. Um, this one will probably fit me better. 
some of these I don't care for that much. Like this one, I mean, get rid of. This one will look better on me once I lose weight. Because again, it's a sweater dress. Then I have some of my suits over here. Oh, look at this. Let me show you something. This one right here is so old. Tommy jeans. I've had this one probably since before 2000. Yeah. I was wearing this thing when I was in my early 20s. My goodness. Then I have some suits here and suit pants that don't fit me because the pants are like size 4 and the waists and thighs won't fit. But they're going to start fitting me very soon. And this is one of the more fancy dresses that I have. And I actually wore this in some style videos for you guys on Instagram. But I don't have much dresses that are fancy because, you know, I never had a Grammy nomination or an Oscar. So <laughs> I don't have any Oscar and Grammy style dresses in my closet. Sorry to show you all. <laughs> so, I, I mean, like I said, I don't go anywhere, you know. So I don't have a whole lot of fancy, fancy things. So more, here's another sweater dress. I've got like a ton of sweater dresses. And like I said, they only look good when your body looks good. <laughs> um, this is an old dress also for church. This wrinkle thing is actually a, um, a robe, which I really need to iron. And um, this is another dress that I just bought and I've never worn it. I bought this last year from Target. It's very long. Um, but I did film a video with it, so you all will probably see that dress in the coming weeks in a video coming up. And here's another summer dress I have worn on Instagram before. Here's another one of my dresses. You've seen this in a video a couple of years back, around 2017. So yeah, and then I've got some scarves. So... That's what's over on this side. No particular order. It is not organized by color. I just kind of look through everything when I'm looking for something to wear. And of course, these are my suits and these are more color coordinated over here. And yeah, I still have got some room back here for some new things that I want to add in. Some blouses. I was telling you about before, a lot of them I've had for years, and uh, some really old sweaters that I love. Yeah, so that's my closet. I am going to take these down off the shelf, because I'm not going to keep them. There's no reason for me to keep those. This is the bag for the shoes I'm getting rid of. These are very old shoes. I have had these shoes for over 10 years. Okay. Like these, for example. I've had these shoes now since maybe 2004. Yeah. I was living in, in Maryland when I bought these. And uh, then I have shoes that are over 10 years old. And I can't wear them because they slip off my feet. I tried to put the like these backings on them, but it doesn't work still. The shoes don't fit right. And they slip off my feet and they look pretty new because I never wore them really because they never fit right. They've been in my closet now for like 10 years and I'm getting rid of them. So these I bought maybe about five years ago or so and I'm getting rid of these because uh, the back of these these are Jessica Simpsons they hurt at the back so those are gone so uh, these are not new shoes these I had since like 2003 something like that all of these shoes are from before 2010 these are from 2011 they're all gone. They don't fit or they hurt or they're just really old. All right. These I bought maybe about 
four or five years ago. And I don't wear, I really do not wear heels like this much. They're not comfortable at all, these shoes. Uh, I bought them because I needed something like quick, fast to wear. And this was the only thing that matched that I could afford. I bought them in Brooklyn on Flatbush. And uh, I don't really wear them because they're not comfortable. And I don't want to break my ankles. <laughs> on them so i'm gonna get rid of them they're not they're not worn a lot but they have been in my closet for a number of years and it's time to get rid of them because i'm not wearing them these are really nice i wanted to keep them but they actually hurt they're not comfortable on the toe area and they slip off of my feet I don't know what it is, but I have a problem where my feet slip off of the sh out of the shoes. So, but um, I don't know. Maybe was it because maybe I stretched them when I was pregnant? I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think they may have been like that before that, though. I'm not sure. But I do have a lot of shoes where the back doesn't fit right, and my feet slip out. But then when I try to buy a smaller size, it's too, it, it's, it's like, it doesn't fit right. It's too tight. So I think it's because I just need to choose better quality shoes, maybe. I don't know. I mean, these are like Macy's shoes, but not everything there is, is comfortable, you know? But I think for now on, like in the future, when I buy shoes, I'm going to make sure that whatever I buy is quality in terms of it being very comfortable and it's fitting me right. These white shoes, I wore them at our pastoral ordination, but I had them longer than that. I had them since 2011 and they're really stained. They're not really comfortable at all. Nina's aren't that comfortable, y'all. Yeah. So because they're not comfortable, I could like try to clean them up. I mean, I don't even know if that's cleanable, you know. Clorox? I don't even know. They're not, they're like kind of off-white. So I'm just going to get rid of them because the bottom line is they don't feel that great. They look pretty, but they're old and they're stained and they don't feel good. So they're gone. These were my old flats that I wore when I was teaching at Prince George's County, Maryland. Back in, I probably wore these around 2004, 2005. And I'm getting rid of them now. They've been in my closet now for like 15 years. And they're kind of worn on the bottom. And the insides are kind of falling apart a bit. So those are gone. These are not comfortable. They look nice, but they're not comfortable. And they've been in my closet now for, I want to say, probably 15 years no less than 10 years and um, I'm pretty sure I had these before I got married yeah these are Madonna's shoes true true truth or dare by Madonna so I think that they were bought like before 2010 but they look really pretty you know it was hard for me to part from them because they're so pretty but um they are not comfortable and they don't fit right. My foot slips off at the back. They, my foot slips out. So, and a lot of times these toes are not comfortable either. The peep toe. So, they're not comfortable. Um, let me see what else I have in here that I didn't talk about. Or just old sandals. And um, these old shoes I've had since I was 18 or 19 years old. And they have served their purpose. I bought them in the 90s. They're very, very old. There's no reason for me to keep these anymore. So I am getting rid of these now. Goodbye. I've had them for so many years. Wow. We're talking about 1995, I probably bought these. Yeah, that long ago. 
to buy. These shoes I've had since the 90s. My father bought them for me. I kept them because they're sentimental. I actually have had these shoes since I was somewhere between 12 and 14 years old. And I kept them because they're sentimental. My dad bought them for me. But, um, I mean, he's bought a lot of things for me. But the thing is, is that they, they're too small for my feet now. Since, since I was 12, I, my feet have grown one size up. They're tied on me now, so I can't wear these anymore. So, um, I'm really not keeping them for any reason if I keep them. Except for the fact that I remember when my father was with me at the store and he bought them. But um, I think I want to part with them now because I won't wear them. I mean, the only other thing that I can do is possibly keep these for my daughter. You know? But I don't know what her shoe size is going to be like. Mm, I'm going to get rid of them. Bye-bye. These were a disappointment. Seriously. I bought these from Banana Republic. I couldn't return them, unfortunately. Um, they didn't have, they, they broke like a couple of months after I bought them. Look at this, the heel broke. And I don't even think a, sh a shoe repair can, can fix that. I'm not even quite sure. But I'm, I was disappointed when my shoe broke. But yeah, these are Banana Republic. I wonder if I can fix this. I don't know. No, he would, they would have to like totally replace the heel on this. No, maybe I should try to take this to the shoe repair and see if they can repair it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. But now that I think about it, at the end of the day, is it really worth me keeping them? I mean, all the money that I'm gonna spend, you know, getting them repaired. I probably may as well just buy a new pair of shoes. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm gonna get rid of them. I I, I may as well just buy a new pair of shoes. Because if I'm gonna spend money to fix them, why? <laughs> you know? Nah, get rid of them. So that's it, everybody. This is my new old closet. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you subscribe to my channel. This is Wealthy Confident Lady keeping it real with you. Let's create as much heaven on this earth as we possibly can. God's peace and love on you all.